I'm Dr. Jolene Huber, a developmental pediatrician specializing in autism spectrum disorder. I'm teaming up with behavior therapist Sarah Davis, who will be working closely with families focusing on social skills, communication, and behavior. This is The Exceptional Life. How old is Thomas now? Thomas is eight, he'll be nine in August. Okay. Yeah. What would you say his strengths are? His strengths are he really wants to make people laugh. So he likes to try and find a way to make you laugh or smile or giggle. He has no malicious intent. He's, he's, he always wants to be kind. And his strengths are like just mathematics and the strategy and the logic of some things he can really grasp. And he was really good at letters and numbers at a young age. Really good at letters and numbers at a young age. Like he wouldn't, he'd pull himself up on one of those easels and he could write words and letters and numbers. Before he could talk. Oh, absolutely well before, wow. yeah. The first way he could talk was through music, I would say. Because he would sing. He would sing a song. So if it was snowing, he'd go outside and say, Frosty the snowman. And I'd be like, yes, it's snowing. So he would associate songs with this thing, things that yeah. he was trying to communicate. Yeah, oh. it's interesting. So if you had to kind of think of autism spectrum disorders in sort of three really big general boxes, like communication, social skills yeah. and behavior. If you kind of think of those three areas, mm -hmm. what, what are some of the things that you'd like to work on with Thomas? Thomas really wants to know how to talk to people and make friends. So he's learned some skills. Um, so we're not at an entry level, but it's that next phase of like, okay, I want to talk to this kid at the playground. We started to play, now what do I do so I'm not the weird kid? You can see it in his face where he's like, he'll try and ask a question and if somebody doesn't answer it, he's like, oh, I, I don't know what to do now. Like, right. Okay, so these ones are yours, Thomas, and these ones are mine. And we're gonna build a tower together while we have a conversation. Okay, let's okay? go. So there's a couple rules though. Yeah. So when you say something, you're gonna put the red block, cause red means Thomas, and blue means? Sarah. That's right. So when I say something, I'm going to put something on top of your red one. And then we're going to build a nice big tower. It, it but I've got a couple steps to help us remember what we're going to do in our conversation. Would you like to see it with me? Okay. Share the conversation. That's right. We have to give the person you're talking to a chance to ask you a question or make a comment too, right? Right, Thomas? Yeah. Okay, what about... Ask other person about him or herself. That's right. You might want to ask about their interests, their hobbies, what they like to do on the weekend, all about the other person. And those things are going to be doing this. Can you read this one for find, me? Find, come on, common interests. The common interests. So you have to find something that's a common interest. So something that I like and you like. Yep. But there's some other rules too. What about this one? When person has answered, answer your own name. That's right. So when you ask me a question, I'm going to answer it, but then you're also going to answer the same question about yourself, so I get to know about you. Yeah. Yeah. But there's one last rule. What's this one? Do say? not get too personal at first. That's right. That's an important thing. What's your favorite thing to do on the weekend? Whoa. Uh, my favorite thing to do is go in the store. Like go shopping? Yeah, go shopping for oh. toys and food. <laughs> I love doing that too. I think we found a common interest. Yeah. Yeah, we both like the same thing. Yeah. Do you think that maybe is something you could do? We could do together? We could go shopping? Since you like it and I like it? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, and that's kind of what you do when you have conversations with your friends at school or at the park. You're going to have conversations to find those common interests. So you can find activities to do together as friends. Yeah, that's good. The idea what we're trying to teach him right now is to teach him to find common interests. So we have a little homework for this week. Okay. Thomas is going to practice trading information with mom and dad. Oh, okay. And so you're going to show mom and dad how you practice trading information with Legos. And is there anything that 
Thomas can do on his own? Like, if there, is there something we can load onto his iPad or Definitely. anything like that? Excellent, excellent question. So there's actually an app called FriendMaker. It actually has a lot of these lessons built into the app itself. Oh, right on. So when what mom can't socially no. coach in those situations, because sometimes you're not there, or maybe it's not appropriate for you to coach. And it's got all okay. of those different lessons on there. So this kind of this break down those steps for okay. them. It also shows the good example, bad examples that we, we went yeah, over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and afterwards, it's also giving him the opportunity to practice. So we practice together in kind of like a role play, yep. behavioral rehearsal and giving him feedback on his practice. Right on. Uh, yeah, so overall did well. So now the next step is the homework assignment. Okay, good. Thomas, yes. <laughs> if you could go on a hike anywhere, a hyper walk, where would you go and who would you go with? All right, what is your favorite video game? I gotta be honest, I don't actually really like video games. Fine. <laughs> Fine. Fine, I'll allow it. So how's Thomas doing overall since we've last checked in with you. Thomas is doing awesome. He's in a really good place. Just tell us some of his successes. He's definitely a lot less hesitant to go up to other people. So he's learned some icebreakers in the park and stuff like that. His resilience has gone up a lot. So how have his conversations been playing into that, the friendship building? He can read people a little bit better. He is careful about topics. So he'll think about who he's going to see and think about something that he might like. For example, he loves to tell jokes. And so he's been like, okay, that age group, will they like this kind of joke? He's definitely like thinking ahead and trying to fit himself in. Um, right. but, and taking yeah. their perspective, which is a really important skill. Totally. Is he better than at finding some common interests with friends? Definitely. We can still improve in that area. Like, instead of one question and done, we're probably into three questions. That's great progress. Great progress. Especially, like, at the dinner table, totally. you know, now we can, how was your day? What did you do? And then he'll be like, Erica, do you do that at school? Oh, so like, he's starting to pose the yeah, questions exactly. too. That's amazing. So, yeah, it's Because when great. you think of the hierarchy kind of of conversations and offering information would be a, a lower down kind of skill to be able to share information with other people and then asking others about their experience and their feelings is a much higher level skill that he's doing so that's great and it also helps to build friendships because I think we we don't really realize you know you may go for coffee with somebody and they talk about their kids the whole time and they never ask how your kids are or they talk about their life totally kind of leave with a, this funny feeling you didn't feel connected and um, it's because they never asked you any questions and so kids don't necessarily think through that but they feel that mm -hmm. and so is it helping uh, him to make some friendships He's this made year. some friends this year. Awesome. I think the difference is now he's doing it with kids his own age. Yes. Right. He never had problems doing it with older kids mm -hmm. or with younger kids. Right. It was right. his peers that were a mm -hmm. challenge. So I think mm -hmm. we've narrowed the age. And the reason why it's easier with the older and younger is that older kids are kind of like young adults in so they kind of modify their behavior and even if they're not really interested in the topic he's talking about they'll kind of act interested a younger mm -hmm. child he can kind of direct the play a little bit more they may look up to him right so it's a huge step to be with his own age peers yeah no it's been yeah. it's been really good when we're kind of starting to teach Thomas some of that back and forth conversation we kind of turn it a little bit into a game with the Lego. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you still practice? We definitely reference it um, as a, a mind visual, so to speak, exactly. to go back to it, but we don't need to pull out the Legos anymore. So thinking towards next year, a couple goals could be learning to end a conversation, reading the cues that the conversation may be kind of over. Mm -hmm. Are there any other goals that you have for So Thomas? where we're at with Thomas, I think the next steps are he's very aware of being cool and I'm cool so nice. I think he knows he's a bit different and he really wants to fit in or not mm -hmm. look different mm -hmm. um, so just that thing I think would be our next goal of figuring out how to fit in it sounds of. like he's already you know observing a lot of social roles that nobody you know tells you about you just yeah. kind of figure them out yeah and I often say what you're talking about about social skills in this kind of middle school age is 
a typical part of development is to sort of all want to be the same, all look the same, but it, that that's okay socially right yes. now and that's yep. kind of actually what all of the kids are doing. They're just trying to figure out who they are and part of that is they're all trying to be like the same things. Yeah. Right. But it's great that he's kind of queuing in to this is what other kids are interested in and I want to be interested in the same things and learn about the same things. So it's a, it's a great social skill. Okay, good to know. Yeah. yeah.